Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome back to episode 2 of my new series on career mode where we are taking reserves, not just Arsenal reserves, but reserves from the whole of the Premier League, from League 1 to the Premier League once again. Almost like that third league that the FA are willing to bring into football, but who knows how that will go down. I'm, I'm very interested to see what you guys think about that, so do leave a comment. Do you think the third league is something that we should be looking at? But anyway... In the last episode, we made some great signings. I do recommend you go back to see who we signed if you want to see the whole process of me signing the players. It was pretty difficult. A lot of people didn't want to join. So hopefully I'm going to have better luck in this episode. So the first signing of this um, this episode I want to try and make is Callum Chambers. And I, I, I did see comments from the first episode. Most people didn't mind the fact that he does play in the first team for Southampton sometimes. It's going to be difficult to sign him, but... I should be going for players like him to make this series really exciting. The other player I want to go for is Pereira from Manchester United. I've just gone to buy him. That was a fail. Um, oh my god, the lag. The lag is happening again. Right, Pereira, let's go ahead and inquire. We've also got Marcus Lopez, the only Man City player that I've been looking at. So that could be an interesting signing. We've got Tankovic, the Swedish tank. <laughs> um, I really want to sign this guy. So let's go ahead and inquire. I haven't ever bought a Swedish player on career mode, so there you go. Uh, James Wilson from Manchester United will be a very good signing. We've also got Samid Yesil from Liverpool. I did want to make sure I got a Liverpool player in, and he would be my main striker because he's an absolute boss. We've got Woodrow and Dembele from Fulham. I think I want to go for Dembele. Have you, have you seen this guy's stats? He's 17 years old, and his sprint speed is between 83 and 93. He's six foot as well, so no doubt in my mind he would score some headers. Let's inquire for him as well. We've also got a left winger here, Alassani from Crystal Palace, but I don't think I need any more left wingers for now. So let's just go for those players that we've inquired to. We've got some friendlies coming up, which I don't really want to play, if I'm honest, but let's have a look. What's it? Ah, okay, right. So Chambers would be about 2.2 million. I reckon I can bring them down a, just a tad. I don't think he's going to want to join straight away, so I'm going to have to give him a very good contract to get him in. Yezil, they're not looking to sell. It could be difficult. Um, really? He's not a crucial first team for their starting X1. No, no, no shit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and offer 1.5, more than the value they're, they're probably looking at there, so I'm hoping that's enough to get the job done. He would be a great striker. He will score goals, there's no doubt about it, and I've got Sonogo, who I can bring on as well. Man United don't want to sell. Oh my god, City are going to sell. Right, 1.6 for Marcos Lopez. That's a pretty good deal. I do want to get both, so let's get Pereira. Let's get the ball moving. I think I can probably get him for 500k. Maybe. We'll soon find out. Depends on how silly Moyes is going to be. Technically, it's still Moyes in this. Tankovic, 700,000. They can just have that. He's, I'm buying him for his name and the fact he's Swedish, which is pretty cool. Uh, Moussa Dembele, 1 million. Absolutely need to sign this guy because he will be a great backup option behind, uh, behind Sonogo. And yes, Hill. Wilson, it's not looking likely that they want to sell. But if I offer up 300k, they might feel a little bit different. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why are you signing so many players? Well, I didn't want this series to be about Arsenal. I just wanted them to be the team that I have the players on. And I want to fill this squad up with loads of options. Right, they've accepted for Yesil. Let's go ahead and offer him a very good contract. I'm going to offer him 10k. I think he should probably accept that. He's also got the crucial first team player that I'm sure he wants or would want. Uh, Tom Lawrence, he wants to, me to rotate the squad and play him. We're not going to play the match against Seattle. Come on, we don't need to. Let's see if we get a win. Oh my god, we won 3-0. <laughs> Great start. Right. Transfer for accepted for Wilson. They have actually accepted. That's great. Um, I'll go for sporadic first team player because I have learnt from my mistakes in the last episode where I just was not offering them good enough stuff. Moussa Dembele. Right, four years. Let's go ahead and give him important first team player. Don't want to give him crucial because he won't be playing every match. But we'll see if that goes through all right. Right, let's offer Tankovic his. Let's go for squad rotation player. He's more of a CF so I could play him as a false nine maybe. They've accepted for Pereira. Honestly, they give it the whole, I'm not selling him to you. And then as soon as you offer a decent amount of money, boom, you can have him. <laughs> right, squad rotation player for him. Pereira, I want you in my team, the Belgian beast. 
We've got Marcus Lopez here from Manchester United, uh, Manchester City, sorry, important first team player, or should I go for Crucial? I think I'll play him over um, Icefield, so yeah, we'll go with that. They want 2.4 for Chambers. Jesus, they are bastards, aren't they? They, are, they say, yep, yeah, you can have them for 2.2. I offer them a little bit less, and they think, right, let's, let's bump it up again because they're being dicks. Honestly, right. Can we get... Oh, yes, yes, we have. We got Yersil. That is fantastic. We got Yersil. He will go straight into the team. But I was about to say, can we get another win in this friendly coming up? Let's see. I have no idea if, that, if that's a... Is it a Bundesliga team? I have no idea, but we've got to... Oh, shit. We've got to win the next game to keep our run going. Right. All of these guys are saying it's a step down. He wants a bigger role. Step down, step down. Right, let's do Tankovic first. He wants a bigger role. Let's go for an important first team player and the four years. He will sign that, I'm pretty sure, because all he wants is a bigger role. James Wilson, league is a step down. Who cares if it's a step down? You're going to get more game time. I'll offer him 5,000 and it's four years. You know, in, in his position, I would definitely join a League One team to get a whole season under my belt of games. But some footballers don't like that. Uh, right, we're going to offer Dembele much more money because I want him. Um, let's go for an important first team player. But I've given him his six grand. 6.2 grand. It's not too bad, is it, to play football? <laughs> right, let's offer Pereira a little bit more as well because, you know, the wages aren't a problem for me right now. Important first team player. I think I'd play him over Marcos Lopez because Lopez's um, stamina is very low indeed. But he is a better player, so I don't know how that's going to go down. We'll offer Mo Marcos Lopez 10 and we'll give him crucial first team player because, you know, I will use him. But will it be every game? Probably not. I'm going back on what I, knew I normally say. Right, let's go ahead and sim this game here. Can't believe I don't recognise that badge. I'm normally good with badges, but... And we've won again! Holy shit, this team! <laughs> this team is sick! Right, they've accepted for Chambers. I need to sign this guy. Let's go for 12.2k. Crucial first team player and four years. If I can get him, my defence is looking solid. And we'll be more than ready to jump up into the promotion spots, I'm hoping. Right, contract offer accepted from Wilson. But I did see some bad news across the board there. Most of these guys... Oh, hang on. No, it's all right. We've got Pereira and we've got another one. Is it Lopez? Please be Lopez. Yes, right. We've signed those guys. I thought they declined them all, but maybe I was wrong. Right, new signing arriving. Let's get rid of those. So it was just Tankovic. Um, oh, now he's saying it's a step down. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm going to offer him a lot more money. Up to that 6,000 that seems to be working. And I'll give him the important first team player again. Let's see if he will join. I think he is the last one. So let's see this. Um... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I forgot about these guys. We've got Dembele. And we've got Chambers joining. We've got Chambers, guys. I'm well and truly using up my money here, which is great. No point having money when I'm not going to use it. Um, upcoming match, Jenkinson. I'm sorry, mate. Uh, right, let's see if we can win this last friendly. Three in a row. Can it be done? Can it be done? Yes, 3-0. Fantastic. The last match. I'm really, I really feel I'm in, I'm in good form. Oh, okay, Jenkinson. But the problem is, mate... You're not really a reserve player, you know. You're more of a backup. <laughs> I, I don't know. Tankovic, there we go. Accepted. He is in the squad. Right, I think we're done. I think that is all the players I need right now. Got a press conference. That doesn't matter too much. Let's just go straight into the lineup here and play around with the players that we've got. So, I think I need to sign another goalkeeper. At right back, we're going to obviously use Chambers. Almost as good as Jenkinson already. Aki, Mikel, John, Bentaleb, Nabri, Zalalem. Let's bring on... <clears throat> who should we go for? Lopez or Pereira? I think Lopez. You know, his stamina sucks, but he's got he's got better stats. There's no doubt about it. Up front, we'll go with Yesil. He's 64 rated. He's not as good as Sonogo, surprisingly enough. So what I'll do is I'll keep Sonogo there, and I'll change these guys around. We've got so many players now. We've got Dembele. He's going to be great. And we've got Tankovic as well. It's such a sick name. I love that name so much. Um, let's put Tankovic on the bench. Uh, right, we've also got... See, I, I don't know about Coquelin. He's 23. No, he's 22. So he's technically too old. Um, I haven't actually seen any comments about the over-21s. Having the three over-21s. So I'll have to look out for those in this episode. Let's put Hector Bellerin on the bench. Uh, we'll take off Grealish. 
it's good to have some defenders there. Um, Toro, yeah. I think really we need another centre midfielder. So who have we got? We've got got Pereira there. He's not as good as I thought he would be, but he's only 17. So these guys all have so so much time to get a bit better. We've got Lawrence there. Could be pretty decent. Let's uh, let's organise this, and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm very happy with the lineup I've got, but the only problem I see is my defenders. You know, I can't use Gibbs and Monreal, really. I need to buy a couple more defenders, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do in a sec. Um, in terms of strikers as well, I've got quite a lot here. Um, let's go ahead and put some players up for sale as well. So um, let's go into sell players. Let's go over to age, I think will be the quickest way. Rosicki, he's a legend, but he's got to go. Mikel Arteta as well, got to go. Uh, Schaustrom, we're going to go ahead and terminate his loan. Park, let's return him from loan and then release from contract because he's so bad. Uh, Viviano, we're going to have to terminate. Uh, Monreal, he's got to go. Um, Juru, oh, I'll leave him out on loan. That's a lot of money. We've run out of money pretty much now. Bentner's got to go. Who else? Gibbs. I'll, I'll keep him for now because he could be one of the over 21s I use. Coquelin will keep as well and Jenkinson. That will do for now. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of these emails. I like to keep my things organised like this. I do see some other career mode YouTubers who don't do that. They just leave emails in their box. I'm like, fuck me, I could not do that. So let's find some centre-backs. So what I'm going to do is search for centre-backs in the Premier League between 16 and 20, I think will be the best option for me. Anyone I like the look of, I'll probably go for. So we've got some decent stats there. We could go for Christensen from Chelsea. Could be a pretty decent one. Let's go ahead and inquire. Uh, Callum Jones. I'm looking at their stats, particularly the stamina, because that's what we need the most. We've got Papo here from Chelsea as well. Could be a decent signing. Let's go ahead and inquire. Uh, Daniels. <laughs> okay, Krug's Alan Alexandra player, because that's the team I switched Arsenal with. Um, Harry Tofolo. Maybe not him. John Stones. Akore. No. Um, Debayo. He's not bad. Could be a decent option. We'll go ahead and inquire. Um, Fadden, Leo Chambers. Mm, there's not many options, really. Lobomo Satka. Let's have a look at this guy. From Slovakia. Um, could go for Michael Keane. You know, could be a decent option. Why don't we go for him? Got some good stats. Uh, Steven Sammer. Kalas. No, okay. So those are the only options we've really got. A five foot ten centre back just isn't right, is it? It's not. He's not going to be tall enough. Although you look at players like um, Thiago Silva, who aren't the tallest, but they're still absolutely fantastic. Right, Debayo recently joined. We can't have him. Papo, though, we probably could go for. Although I am looking at other players as potential signings instead of him. Christensen, he's just. No, no he hasn't just joined. We'll go for Keane. I think he'll be a great player. So let's offer up. I think we'll go with the 800,000 they're looking for. I'll bump it up to 900,000 just to make sure we are in there with a proper offer. Um, who do I go for? Um, I think Christensen. He's younger and it makes more sense. Let's go ahead and go for him. Let's offer up 300 or 400,000. And those two should be absolutely fine. Papo, I'll leave for now. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we have our first game, and it's against Bradford. That's going to be an insane match. Obviously, Bradford, I have done a career mode with before until it errored um, and kept freezing. But if you are enjoying this series, I'd really appreciate a like rating. I'm really enjoying it, and I can't wait to show you the first game. But it will be in episode three because this is already a very long episode. And uh, don't forget, if you do want to buy some FIFA coins, guys, you can check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Get 5% off using the discount code MGH. And don't forget, you, you get your coins instantly. It's a fantastic service. I will see you in the next episode soon.